happening gamers this is Bradley here and today we're going to be recapping the Nintendo Direct presentation for April 17th. So first up is at the very end of the presentation they announced a new The Legend of Zelda game for the Nintendo 3DS and it's going to be set in the same game world as A Link to the Past. Now we don't know if it's going to be like a sequel or a prequel to that game but I guess time will tell and it's going to be including an original storyline it's going to be played from a top down perspective like a 2D Zelda game. Now it will utilize the 3D effect in that you'll be able to sense volume and height and you'll be able to distinguish like different levels. Now, the Zelda game will introduce a new game mechanic where you'll be able to morph into a drawing on a wall and then you'll be able to move on that wall and then you get to different areas. Now there is a 3D video on the 3DS's eShop that you can download so if you want to check that out you can do so and the game is set to be released in holiday of 2013. Now since we're on the topic of Zelda, Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons will be releasing in North America and Europe on the 3DS Virtual Console on May 30th. Now a new 3DS XL bundle was announced for North America and Europe and this time it is a Animal Crossing themed 3DS XL that comes pre-installed with Animal Crossing New Leaf. So this bundle will be available on the launch day of the game and it will be sold for $219.99. Another game was announced for the 3DS and this time it's the third entry in the Yoshi's Island series. It has that like artsy nature to it. It's going to have like some of the same gameplay mechanics as the previous entries in the series like ground pounding and egg throwing but it's also going to be using the 3DS's features. But we really don't have many details about this game just yet. We don't know when it's going to be releasing, but details about this game are supposed to be revealed later. Now another Nintendo 3DS game was announced, and this time it's a new entry in the Mario Party series. It will feature seven brand new game boards that will each have their own rules. There will be 80 mini games and even some AR games, and the game is set to be released in the winter of 2013. Now we also have confirmation that Bravely Default, Flying Fairy, Professor Layton and the Azron Legacies, and the Guild O2 games, which include the Spaceship Damry, Bugs vs. Tanks, and Attack of the Friday Monsters, a Tokyo Tale, will be getting localized. So Bravely Default and also Professor Layton will be released in 2014 for North America and later this year in Europe. Now as for the Guild O2 games, there isn't a set release date yet. Now it was revealed that the Spring System update for the Wii U will be released next week, which will help improve the loading times of switching between menus, allow you to install software updates while you're playing a game, and even allow you to download things while the system is off. Plus, the virtual console for the Wii U will be released the day after the update, and they're planning on releasing Game Boy Advance and Nintendo 64 games for it. Since we're on the topic of the Wii U virtual console, Nintendo announced that they're planning on releasing Earthbound by the end of the year in North America and Europe, but an exact release date hasn't been announced yet. Now, as for Pikmin 3, a new type of Pikmin was announced called a Wing Pikmin, which is a Pikmin that's able to fly and carry items and will be helpful in different ways. Now, release date for the game has been announced for North America and it's set to be released on August 4th. So the game has been pushed back. Now, as for New Super Luigi U, which is the DLC from New Super Mario Bros. U, which will be released in the summer of 2013, Luigi will be played differently in that he'll be able to jump higher than Mario and it will be harder for him to stop after he stops running. Plus, many of the levels will only have 100 seconds and also they will be quicker. Plus, for Donkey Kong Country Returns 3, there will be 8 new levels and then for Mario and Luigi Dream Team, Mario Golf World Tour and also Mario and Donkey Kong Minis on the Move. We have some new details about those games that you can check out on the blog, link in the description below. And plus there is some like gameplay footage and trailers and screenshots and all that stuff on the blog as well. But that will bring us to the end of this video guys. If you want you can go to thegamepicture.com for some more news for the 3DS and the Wii U. But I'll talk to you later in the next video guys. Bye!